does this make sense? The second question, no, this doesn't, this doesn't make sense. It does make sense. And in fact, I looked in there and I'm like, are these other doctors out of their ever loving minds? He hasn't had a posterior vitreous detachment. You know, no wonder he's confused. No wonder he thought he was a candidate. No wonder when he contacted me, I was told I have a PVD. I was told my floater's in a good position. I'm like, oh, you're 31 years old. If I were a betting man, I'd say you're probably not a candidate, but if you want to make the trip out here, I'll give it the old college try or you know, give it a fair evaluation, keep my mind open to it. I don't want to close my door to anybody. And um, so he did, and I said, I don't think that this is the floater. It's probably something back here. I said, but look, I get that you're distressed. You know, I get that this is causing you great, great distress. And you've been told some various things that may make it seem like you're a candidate for treatment. i tell you what I'm going to do. Let me pick at this thing. Let me uh, get my laser on this. Let me at least break it up, sever it, divide it, f you know, fractionate it, you know, break it down to some smaller pieces. And it was very accessible and very gettable, and I, I probably got most of it with that on that first treatment. I said, but don't pay me. You're coming back tomorrow. Let's have you come back tomorrow. Let's have a conversation, which goes something like this. And I say, well, so he came back and I said, well, and he said,